Flight and the mystery of migration. For millions of years, whooping cranes, like many other species, migrated on their own from the frozen north to the deep south, following their parents to their home away from home for the winter, and miraculously finding their way back again alone. Then something happened that interrupted this age-old journey and halted the progress of the whooping cranes and almost wiped out their species altogether. The beautiful whooping cranes of North America fell prey to the unregulated hunting that took its toll in the early part of the century, before our ancestors understood the concept of conservation. As European settlers moved west, precious wetlands, so important to whooping cranes and other species, were drained to make way for agriculture. So even if a whooping crane could make it through their airy gauntlet, once they arrived, they often had nowhere to roost. And one by one, the whooping cranes began to disappear until there were only 15 left. But now there's hope. For the last five years, a small group of dedicated pilots, naturalists, and volunteers has been working to revitalize this species using amazing techniques and state-of-the-art technology. Their hope is to one day re-establish the endangered whooping cranes to their natural flight path and provide them with safe refuge for the winter months. They are Operation Migration. Operation Migration began in 1994, just five years after Bill Lishman made history when he became the first human to fly in formation with birds later immortalized in the film Fly Away Home from Columbia Pictures starring Jeff Daniels. Beginning with Canada geese and later with sandhill cranes, Bill Lishman and his friend and fellow ultralight pilot Joe Duff became the first to use the imprinting method to train birds to fly with ultralights and eventually follow them on their migratory route. After hatching, the first image a new bird sees is that of a whooping crane mother puppet this mother figure feeds and nurtures the baby crane and eventually the young crane begins to follow its surrogate parent. As the bird matures, it is conditioned to follow an ultralight trike around a small pen and gradually becomes accustomed to the sound and shape of the aircraft. Throughout the summer months, the team works diligently to develop and strengthen their bond with each bird until one day they are ready to take wing and follow the ultralight into the sky. The amazing thing is, this entire imprinting process is achieved without any human contact with the whooping cranes. When these birds finally begin their migration, it is as natural as nature intended it. From Nasita National Wildlife Refuge in Wisconsin to their final destination at Florida's Chassahowitzka National Wildlife Refuge, these birds and the ultralights fly together. Flying as little as 40 miles a day in the early morning when the air is calm, this group of determined travelers make their way over highways, wetlands, mountains, and small cities until over 1,200 miles later, they finally land in their winter habitat. Naturally, this huge undertaking needs a vast amount of resources to make this journey. Fortunately, they're not alone. Nine private and government agencies, known collectively as the Whooping Crane Eastern Partnership, work with Operation Migration on its quest to save this species. However, there are many more who help to support this important mission. In addition to four ultralight pilots, there is an extensive crew that tracks the birds from the ground and sets up the camp and the bird pen at each location. Yet another fixed-wing aircraft provides top cover for safety. And perhaps most importantly, there are many, many volunteers on the ground throughout the route that open their homes to the team and provide them with a safe and isolated area for a temporary pen. Until at last they arrive at the Chassahowitzka Wildlife Refuge on Florida's Central West Coast. This vast amount of manpower and hundreds of hours of effort are a huge undertaking and the team at Operation Migration has literally dedicated years of their lives to saving this beautiful but highly endangered bird. At least another five years will be needed to make this population self-sustaining, and now we need your help. As each year becomes more successful, and as more birds are hatched, the costs continue to rise exponentially. Your help is needed if we are to keep this program and these birds alive. There are lots of ways to give, and because Operation Migration is nonprofit, 
a portion of your donation is tax deductible. Consider becoming a mile maker and sponsor a portion of the trip. As a mile maker, you can sponsor as little as a quarter mile, and this little bit goes a long way when everyone contributes. Ask your co-workers and friends to become involved and make it a group effort. Maybe your business or social organization is looking for a worthy cause and a way to give back to the environment. There are countless ways to contribute. To find out how you can help keep Operation Migration alive, please call 1-800-675-2618 or visit our website at www.operationmigration.org. It's never too late to help save this delicate species of bird, and any contribution of any size is welcome. Please consider being a part of this important mission. Climb aboard Operation Migration and help us keep this dream aloft.